I'm a member owner of Rappahannock Electric Cooperative in Virginia, which is arguably the second largest electric cooperative in the country with 182,000 member owners. And so I began working with a group called Repower REC when they recruited me to run for board in 2019. So one of the things that is personally very, very important to me is transparency and accountability for both the elections when people run for board and also what is happening with the investments that are being made with member owners. And as Chris mentioned, I chair the Democracy and Governance Working Group for the Virginia Green New Deal. So one of the things that we look at is we look at are our democratic institutions functioning as they should? And in 2019, and even though they have made a number of improvements, there is still a lot of room. When we look at really encouraging rural electric cooperatives to stop investing in cheap fossil fuel and to make the necessary investment for clean energy. The amount of money that we're talking about to retire debt is significant. And that really means that Congress is going to need to make that federal investment, just like they did in the 1930s when they determined that they really wanted to electrify America. If they are serious about having clean energy, then that means we are going to need to see a significant incentive for rural electric cooperatives to move to clean, I always say safe, renewable energy. Now, I live in Virginia, and Virginia has undergone some amazing changes in the past three years. One of those changes occurred in the 2020 legislature when Virginia basically decided um, unanimously and if you've ever spent any time with the Virginia legislature, you know that the two sides generally don't even agree that the sky is up and the earth is down. So for them to unanimously agree that rural electric cooperatives were going to institute a pay as you save program and on top of that, we're going to hold stakeholder meetings so that the member owners would be able to be a part of the planning process. That was absolutely amazing. So we are currently working through that. And when we look at that, it's very, very important that this federal funding come through for not only REC, but this would give other cooperatives, smaller ones who may not be quite as wealthy, the ability to actually afford to offer a pay as you save program. So in our pays program, if member owners, um, when they do a study, they determine that a new hot water heater, additional insulation, a new HVAC system could save 20% or more on their energy cost. This can now be financed on bill through on bill tariff. And this is just so important for clean energy, for homeowners who would not be able to make these investments themselves. So 
The pay as you save program right now is the industry standard. We are seeing several cooperatives that offer it. I really need the federal government to help. So that's what's at stake now. That's what the Rural Power Coalition is working toward. And we're going to need everybody to go out and work to make this happen. So thank you, Rural Power Coalition.